What's up mga karuba? This is again your konyo boy up in Glen Rapids, English Ilocano, Aglalaok. And today, uh, we have a new video. So ngayon, kay Governor Matthew naman. Kasi lately lang, ang mga videos ko, it's all about kina BBM, kina Sandro. Pero ngayon, I will focus on Governor Matthew naman. Para sa mga nag kay Gov. Matthew. This time, papakilala ko si Gov. Matthew dahil sa kanyang live yesterday. Actually, this is their second live. Ask Matt. Hashtag Ask Matt. With his girlfriend. Ang kanyang girlfriend ay si Ma'am Jamie. Si Ma'am Jamie Harrell. Dito nyo makikita kung gaano ka kasimple. Kasimple si Gov. Si Ma'am Jamie yung kanilang relationship. And ang nakakatawa, ang nakakatawa sa clip na ito, sa video na ito, is may title siya na How I Met Your Mother. <laughs> How I Met Your Mother talaga. Napakaganda ng feedback. So, this was live yesterday. Uh, kasi pinakilala nila kung paano sila nagkakilala, kung paano nila nakilala yung mga mother nila. Ano ang impressions nila, sa mga first impressions nila sa kanilang mga nanay. And marami pang mga iba't ibang intriguing ano, questions. Yung mga kailan yung ba yung kasal nila or what. Dito nyo makikita kung ba, gaano ba kabait si Governor Matthew. Kasi as a father of the province, as a provincial governor, si Governor Matthew ay isang napaka hands-on at nakikita niya lahat yung mga problema at issues ng government. So, gusto niya talagang masolusyonan kaagad. So, that's the way how he handles it. Kung titingnan natin as a boyfriend, how is it to be a boyfriend? Kung si governor ba ay caring ba as what he do best in our province? Or, wala lang, hindi pinapabayaan niya lang si Ma'am Jamie. Ganyan. Panoorin natin to kasi marami tayong matututunan sa kanyang karakter And actually, pinapakita ko to kasi uh, One of my idols is our governor Hindi ko alam, napakabait niya And to the point na alam niya yung mga priorities niya sa buhay Alam niya kung paano niya priority ang kanyang girlfriend Ang kanyang provi province of Ilocos Norte Ang kanyang work And ang kanyang passion sa basketball Sa lahat marami And saka panoorin niya na lang <laughs> Hindi na papaligoy-ligoy pa. Panoorin natin si Governor Matthew and Ma'am Jamie Herrell. Hello? Hi! Magandang hapon po. Thanks for joining us. Uh, thank you. And right. we're back. Can you check the feed nga? Ah. Uh, okay. Are we live? Yep. I see there's one person viewing us. And also here on the phone. Bye-bye. Can you click it and see what shows up? Okay, mukhang okay na tayo. <coughs> Magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. Happy Friday! It's the weekend. Shout out kay Emeline. And um, well, ito na po ang uh, last day of isolation. Yay! Yay! We're free tomorrow na po. Uh, we're able to go out and about actually. Hindi lang kami nag 7 days, nag 9 days pa kami. Oo. Diba? Kasi uh, strict to talaga, DOH. Uh, 7 plus 2 kami kasi counting exposure and then uh, plus 2 days basically. Anyways, mm -hmm. um, ang pangalan ng episode na ito ay How I, I Met, Met Your, Your Mother. Mother. Okay. <laughs> so sinong mauna, Jamie? Um, ikaw na lang yung first. So, what was it like meeting my mom? Like, the first time you met her, like, how did you feel? Were you nervous or were you... Well, I heard that you're naturally good with parents, so... Yep, yeah. medyo mm -hmm. mother's fave ako. Um, I recall meeting your mom. Actually, funnily, both of us met each other's mothers at uh, Japanese restaurants, di ba? So, uh, I met your mom at a Japanese restaurant in Manila. Bumisita po si Tita Snowy, ang pangalan ni, ng nanay ni Jamie. Mm -hmm. And uh, if Tita Snowy is here, hi Tita, magandang hapon. And, um, well, I wasn't so nervous naman. Of course, medyo alert kasi kailangan best behavior. 
But uh, mabait naman si Tita Snowy and Jamie was there with me, of course. And uh, actually, in a way, um, syempre may pressure din kasi sabi nga ni Jamie na I'm the first guy that she's introduced to her mom. Kasi, I don't know, baka ako lang yung super serious or tsaka medyo tra traditional din kasi mm -hmm. si Tita Snowy. Uh, quite traditional. So, um... Maybe that's one reason no, na ako yung okay. naging first. Actually, I even told Matt na parang, you know, like, I'm really taking this relationship seriously. So parang, my mom has never met any of the guys that I dated before. So, yeah, good luck sa iyo. <laughs> parang ganyan. Oo. Oh, oh. Guys, I just wanted to share pala, nandito po kami sa bagong venue sa Kasi, Garden. Yeah. Kasi doon sa last Kabila, venue namin, oh. um, actually, natakot si Jamie kanina kasi sabi, may hinuli daw na ahas, cobra, oh, ang sabi. Ako. Tapos sinabi ni ng uh, kasama po natin na uh, baka daw may asawa, so hindi na pwede daw mag-shoot doon. So nandito na po kami uh, in the golden sunlight, uh, golden hour na ba? But at least correct yung, ano yun, yung camera na Yeah, I ngayon. hope you can all see us. Uh, sana you can see us. I would, ginawa na namin na uh, portrait, hindi na landscape. So uh, I hope you can uh, see all of us properly today. And uh, well, let's talk about Tita Snowy. Because uh, Jamie's mom, no? Tita Snowy, mm. uh, was also a ballroom champion of Cebu. Ano bang titulo yeah. niya? Parang she was known as the ballroom queen of Cebu for I think two or three years in a row. Because she was really known before for her dancing skills, especially when she was in college. So, yun, she's very graceful. In fact, there was even a time that me, your mom, and my mom were dancing for your Lola. Tama. Diba? This past Christmas, baka pakita po namin sa inyo mm -hmm. ang uh, galing ni Tita Snowy and Jamie. Actually, Jamie also grew up dancing kasi may dance studio po sila sa Cebu at uh, mm. kumbaga talagang hindi uh, naman competitive but what's the word na parang performing no performing mm. dancers sa Cebu they would go around attend different events at uh, syempre kasi naging sinulog queen mm -mm, si so Jamie not only si Jamie but also si Tita Snowy mm -mm. naging sinulog queen uh, which is uh, sa Cebu so, sorry sa Cebu <laughs> <laughs> Parang uh, fiesta, siyempre grand fiesta mm -hmm. ng Cebu and it includes dancing kaya mm -hmm. nanalo sila kasi magaling sumayaw. And uh, ako naman, uh, hindi marunong magsayaw but uh, okay yung tala ko. Next time baka <laughs> si Jamie uh, magtatala kasi si Jamie talagang marunong uh, magsayaw. Ako ano lang, pang joke joke lang. <laughs> magsayo ka and then ako mag flooring ako na dance moves. <laughs> what about flooring? Break dancing? Parang break dancing? No, Ayon. like parang flooring pa din. Like, like there are certain like dance floor moves wherein like you don't need Hala. to do break dancing. I just saw watching from Sandro's heart. Oh wow! <laughs> oh, hi Jana! Did I say it right? I can't really see. I don't have my glasses. Okay, um, Siguro, let's move to uh, anything. Well, mom? Tita Snowy, we'll talk about Tita Snowy. We're not done yet. I'm sorry. Okay. My mom uh, Tita Snowy, ang, hindi lang magaling sumayaw, but sobrang galing magluto. At kaya, paminsan, uh, Tita Snowy stays with us. And uh, ako, sayang saya ako, kasi paggising ko, may breakfast na kagad. And uh, for those who know me, for those who know me, uh, talagang totoo po ang sinasabi na the way to a man's heart is through his stomach. So I don't Kasi have mahilig your... po ako kumain. So I don't have your heart because I don't... No, oh. si Jamie naman marunong magluto. Ako marunong mag-order uh, ng delivery. <laughs> uh, marunong ako magluto ng uh, itlog, popcorn, uh, cup noodles. Yun mm. yung specialties ko. But uh, what else? Tita Snowy. Um, Aros caldo, but you really like Yeah, Aros caldo, caldo. Even the chicken salad. I remember we did uh, 
mall the soup, di ba? Ang dami niya mga soup eh. Magaling talaga magluto. Mm-hmm. So, uh, talagang uh, it's true, no? Yung sinasabi po nila. Uh, the way to a man's heart is through his stomach. If the man is greedy. Ay, not greedy. If the man is a foodie like foodie. me. Foodie. Yan. Okay. And uh, actually, kanina lang, nag-burger kami. Have you tried, ano, sa mga kakailian ko, na-try nyo na ba ang Backyard Grill? Yun yung burger na, burger place. Bagong burger place, di ba? At masarap po yung wings nila. Try nyo po yung buffalo wings. Um, Has he tried humba? You yeah, tried humba, right? Tried humba, yeah. di ba? Oh, masarap. Yeah, it's really good. Okay, and uh, let's move on to Tita yeah, Amy. Your mom. Well, I remember like we met her in a Japanese restaurant and your mom is like really cool. Like she's like very free flowing when it comes to her conversation. So brang funny, ang saya. Diba? Why are you laughing? Sorry. Alessandra said, watching with myself. I have no comments. I don't know what to say. Actually, we were just talking about it the other day. Diba? Yeah. Kawawa yung mga singles na with this lockdown. No? Well, at least now medyo... Di naman tayo hard lockdown, no? thankfully. Mm-hmm. But um, I'm sure COVID must be uh, so difficult now for those na maybe home alone o lang uh, kasama. Mm-hmm. Kaya grateful ako na may kasama. Si Asia, sabi niya, she's with Sandra now watching this. Watching oh, Tita Amy. Sa- yeah, so that's one thing I really remember about your mom. Because like, Okay, so the first time I met Matt, sa totoo, I didn't know his family that much. <laughs> well, I knew about his family, but I just didn't know he was part of that family. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> so parang <laughs> so the time I was meeting like Tita Aimee, <laughs> wow, we're having introduction. The the time when I met Tita Aimee, parang I was actually a little bit rattled because I don't really know. Th- how to maneuver myself when it comes to like parents so I was like oh my god like she's a politician like what if like I say something wrong or like she might not like me parang ganyan but in fairness to Tita Aimee like when we first met because I, I can be medyo shy and she really like tried to make me comfortable and really like try to start a conversation with me kanyan like, easy going easy lang, no? going oh, oh and i can see like in fairness to your mom she's like super youthful because like she's always like happy trying to move around and i hope like when i get to her age i'm just as active as her because i'm a couch potato yeah yung, <laughs> si, yung nanay ko, I, th- I think i may have said it the other day di, di exercise yung work niya parang exercise na niya oh, kasi oh. non-stop yung mom ko uh, mm-hmm. busy body di ba uh, na talagang uh, uh, she has to work at, uh, y- yun ang parang ano niya pang burning ng calories she just keeps on working and moving but sometimes she dances di ba mahilig sumayaw actually like i remember one time si Mia yung Mia mo like she started dancing, remember? And then all of us just ended up dancing together for like an hour. <laughs> Actually, that's another uh, funny thing when we first met. Um, well, we found out that both of us are the youngest. Bunsu po kami ng uh, tatlo. And uh, sabi ko sa kanya, or I don't, I'm not sure kung nauna ka, sinabi mo na, ah, I have one niece. Sabi ko, oh, I have a niece too. Sabi niya, my niece is named Mia. What? My niece is named Mia too. So, <laughs> prayo pala kami. We both have nieces. Name one niece at first when we met, diba? One niece mm-hmm. palang. We both had one niece, both named Mia. Imagine with no nephews. Uh, but of course now, uh, my brother Michael, si attorney Mike, mm-hmm. uh, my bagong uh, baby boy, and uh, I think pwede kong masabi patirin si Borgi, diba? May uh, baby boy na rin. So, talagang swerte po si Lola Aimi and Grand Lola uh, Mel D. Na talagang uh, baby full ang uh, ba- bahay po namin when the whole family is together. So... <laughs> Sorry. So speaking of moms, because the subject is how I met your mother, what are some funny moments that you can recall, like with my mom? Um. Well, no. You want to go back to mom, Muna? Tapos na ba tayo kay Tita Amy? 
Nahiya ka yata ah. Yeah, I'm shy. But your mom is really great. Like seriously, I'm really grateful to like, you know, meet her and she's been so nice to me and like, I don't know. I don't know if I could ever like repay like all of the stuff she's done for me. Aba, like emotional ka na yata ah. Yeah, actually. Hala, don't cry. Don't cry. <laughs> okay lang naman na ah. Wala akong makeup. Hindi naman mag- so, uh, mascara. Francesca <laughs> said watching with Oreo. Actually, maybe we should move closer. Meron we're we're isa a little far. Come, come, come. Meron isa na sabi a while ago. Watching with my eyes. Nice. Oh, di ba? <laughs> Actually, yung si Francesca sabi niya Oreo. Alam niyo po, the other night, si Jamie biglang may mm. craving. Sabi niya, I want double stuffed Oreos. Not regular Oreos. Kailangan double stuffed daw. Sabi ko, it's like, 8 p.m. na yata noon. 8 p.m. Sa, syempre, mm -hmm. pag 8 p.m. sa probinsya, medyo serado na lahat, di ba? Eh, sinabi ko, di ko yata kayang ano, maghanap ng double stuffed Oreo at this hour. Eh, naka-isolate pa yata tayo noon, di ba? Or hindi, about to be. About to be isolated. Um, so, nag-order siya online. Naghanap ako ng double stuffed Oreo. Biglang, ang dami niyang double stuffed Oreo. So, ang jeta ni Jamie the past week, Everyday double stuffed Oreo and milk. Kaya, slim na slim. Ay, grabe ka! As if slim ka. <laughs> okay, anyways, so even si. Yeah. The guide. Uh, mm -hmm. Even si Jamie, mahilig pa sa Oreo. Ako naman, chocolate. Basta kahit anong chocolate. Mm -hmm. Favorite chocolate ko, Auro! Auro chocolate. Pinoy, Pinoy Pride. Super Pinoy Pride ako sa. Auro chocolate from Davao. Uh, we're working on our chocolate here also in Ilocos Norte. Sa Adams po, may chocolate na sila, may bago silang machine. So uh, we're trying to uh, elevate, of course, yung uh, food uh, uh, food processing no? and uh, product processing po natin sa Ilocos Norte. And uh, hopefully, our uh, chocolate can be competitive mm. and my coffee na rin kami Meron dito sa Ilocos na Norte. Sorry, I'm cutting you off. Look at what Marilyn said. The try birthday cake flavored Oreo. Oh my god, pwede. That sounds so good. Diba? Let's do it on my birthday. Double stuff chocolate Oreo cake. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we also wanted to talk about underrated tourist destinations sa Ilocos Norte. Siyempre, alam nyo na yung mga sand dunes, windmill, saud. Uh, we mentioned, you know, yung makagutugot off Pasaleng Bay and uh, Solsona Apayao na favorite mo, di ba? Mm -mm. Talagang favorite sa akin. Parang Baguio before it was developed. No? Talagang uh, untouched Baguio. Parang the, gano'n yung Solsona Apayao, no? But the interesting ones here are like the trails that I feel like can you know like basically everyone will end up really loving because it's like a physical activity mm. diba? like a uh, avis diba? yeah so mm -hmm. actually and dami na natin waterfalls there was one month i think nag tatlong waterfalls ba tayo noon or at least dalawa no uh mm. sunod sunod tayo na waterfalls diba mm -hmm. and uh what's the hard one darna yung mahirap sa dumalneg diba super hirap nahulog pa ako uh -oh. nahulog ako sa puwet ko um, Sorry, I was laughing. Basa kasi yung, uh, ano tawag dun? Ravine, yung river. Basa, na dapa ako. Uh, yung puwet ko, masakit. But, uh, anyways, we wanted mm -hmm. to highlight yung dalawang falls sa Burgos. Alam nyo yung Burgos talagang swerte, no? Burgos Town. Uh, ang dami nilang uh, tourist site. Siyempre, alam na natin. Ang uh, lighthouse, Kapurpurawan Rock Formation. no? And then, uh, yung windmills pa nandun. No, yung EDC nandun. Actually, yan po yung favorite view ko sa buong Ilocos Norte. Sorry to Saud. Sorry to uh, the sand dunes. My favorite view in Ilocos Norte, hands down, at masasabi kong world-class view, is at the very tip of EDC windmill sa Burgos. Diba? Maybe. Yung panoramic view na talagang windmills on... Uh, Halos 360 degrees windmills and then ocean. Super ganda sa EDC. Maybe you can like make like a post on your FB, like your favorite places in Ilocos. Like Kuya Matt's favorite places in Ilocos. 
Diba? Galing talaga mag-market diba? si Jamie. By word place. But bro. so obvious we wanted to bring up uh sorry, sa Burgos pala. We wanted to bring us obvious falls. Kaya mo yan, go. Uh, have you been ano yan? Tan up obvious falls, no? Ang mm-hmm. tawag sa Burgos and uh, actually we're developing it, no? Uh, kasama ko si ang uh, INTO or Ilocos Norte Tourism Office, oh. INN and Savior and uh, can you turn up a little bit? Uh, we're um Working on the trail, no, at uh, my CR. Can you turn off the low power How mode? How do I do that? And, uh, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> my uh, technical problems po kami sa cellphone ni Jamie. Ay, grabe ka! Uh, <laughs> but, uh, you must go to uh, Avis Falls. Uh, isa po yan. But, make sure na may tubig siya kasi seasonal lang po. There are some times of the year na wala po siyang tubig. By the way, I think I saw someone mention, like, I really want to go to Ilocos, but I don't know how. So maybe you would like to Yeah, so uh mm-hmm. I also wanted to share no isang uh, frustration po namin no for with our tourism is um people some people think Ilocos takes 10 or 12 hours to get here no yun po yung dati but nayon may tiplex na tayo mas maganda na po ang uh, mga kalsada at highway and you can get here in about so na natin 7 to 9 hours no medyo reasonable na po yan and my partnership po kami sa La Union. So you can stop overnight sa La Union mag surfing surfing sa San Juan, ba? Para hindi naman hassle. And uh, there's another option of course is to fly. Uh, Philippine Airlines flies here twice a week. At uh, we are working with Philippine Airlines to uh, ensure that the uh, ticket prices, no, are reasonable and my marketing partnership. So we're looking forward not to uh, making Ilocos Norte more accessible, mm-hmm. ba? So uh, I hope we uh, we can welcome all of you. Tourism is still open. We will not close. Kahit anong mangyari, kailangan mag move on na tayo sa uh, COVID. But of course, magingat pa din. But uh, we hope to welcome you all. We we in fact test tourists for free. We still do want to test because malay po natin, no? Kung may positive pa kahit bakunado. Uh, so nagte-test pa kami pero maayos naman kasi may tourism center pa kami so hindi naman siya mukhang border nakakatakot and uh, you can have your test there or you can bring your test with you kung valid pa siya go mm-hmm. na but uh, you can even test here for free no basta may booking for two nights or more oh. we test you for free hi mama kim my my friend kim gan hey, yeah. that reminds me mm-hmm. my friend chan daryanani my favorite Indian it's also there. friend, Filipino Indian. Uh, he was watching us uh, last uh, Wednesday, no, our last one, and he did pa na greet to my brother Chan. You're the best shooter I know. Uh, hurts me saying that, man. Um, okay. Oh, and we so, wanted to do a funny category: pet peeves. Ano ba yung pet peeves ko kay Jamie at ano yung pet peeves niya? Sa akin. Sino mo una? Ikaw na lang okay. kasi marami ako, yung pet peeves mo. Ako, oh, ang dami mong pet peeves kasi I'm getting old. Parang when you get old, ang dami ng pet peeves, no? Uh, one of my pet peeves um, na medyo minor, minor naman. One of my pet peeves kay Jamie is, alam niyo po when uh, uh, you use toothpaste, <laughs> when you use toothpaste at parang may toothpaste dun sa cap, and then hindi sinisirado yung toothpaste maigi, yun ang pet peeve ko. Na there's <laughs> toothpaste left there on the top of the tube. I'm not sure. Baka let me know if you understand what I'm saying. <laughs> but she leaves toothpaste there on the top, on the cap. Go. And then paminsan hindi sinisirado. So parang ako parang medyo germophobe ako. So uh, that's one of my... Few pet peeves, kay Jamie. You're so perfect. I have no pet peeves. Come on, come on. I'm, kong, I'm sure you have a lot. Okay. One of my pet peeves. Should it be something like in the bathroom, like what you mentioned? No, okay. One of my pet peeves is like, he can get cranky when he doesn't eat. Hangry. Hangry. Grabe talaga siya mag hangry. And then, mean san mag fasting siya. <laughs> And One time naman, lang, no. I tried fasting, diba? Kasi, but you kasi uso, again. uso ang IF, diba? Oh. 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 And you're planning to do it again? 
I, I said I'm not oh. ruling it out. Maybe someday mm-hmm. if I need to lose weight, diba? Kung mag mag uh, magbebeach ako, kailangan. Diba? But he gets super angry if he doesn't have food Not in the system. Angry, cranky. Angry, minsan. <laughs> <laughs> so I've noticed before lunch, especially, uh, talagang yun yung medyo uh, turbulent, sensitive, uh, huh. irritable moments ko. Dun yung Mm-mm. talagang triggered window ng day ko. Right before lunch. Kaya recently, I've been trying to eat lunch earlier. Because actually, we've been sleeping earlier. Alam niyo po, during our isolation, we sleep early, wake up early. Uh, it's been really uh, great, actually. Because noong po, alam niyo po, last year, uh, two, sorry, last year ba yan? Two years ago na pala. Wow. Two years ago, nung nag-hard lockdown, and we were all here in... Uh, Ilocos, no? Kasama pa si Borgi and Michael and the babies and my mom. Um, we were sleeping so late. Diba? Naala- mm-hmm. Nalala mo pa, Jamie, na there was one day we woke up, mga noon time na. Sabi 1 ko, p.m. Yeah, diba? p.m. Sabi ko, ano ba to? Nakakaya na to. <laughs> Half the day is gone. Kakagising lang natin. Diba? So, um, ala. May ala. sabi na she thinks I'm angry more than cranky. Ala. Diba? Diba? Hindi naman ako angry. Minsan, minsan I'll be like, Hungry, hungry lang. And this is before lunch. I'll be like, Han, I have a question. And then he, he'll say, Bibs, I have 99 problems a day. Don't make it 100. Oh, okay. Sige, so wait na lang after lunch. After lunch, di ba? <laughs> okay. Anyways, I get angry. That's true. I'm sorry. Uh, tao din. Forget. Tao lang, tao lang. Um... Oh, but I wanted to talk also about how 2020, no? I think was siguro one of the hardest years for all of us kasi yes. syempre naka-lockdown po tayo. Yun po yung panahon ng ECQ, MECQ, GCQ, MGCQ, mm-hmm. Banana Q, Barbecue. Opa. Diba? Lahat ng mga Q. At, uh, well, one thing for us is, uh, hala, I look mapayat than before. Ah, like payat. Akala ko, ano? Haggard, hindi pala payat. Um, I'm trying, trying to lose weight. Um, <laughs> kaya, kaya naha-hangry ako. <laughs> but, one thing, one bl- like blessing in, of 2020 is that, you know, my whole family, we were all able to come to one place here in Ilocos Norte. And we all stayed together. And if it weren't for COVID, um, that wouldn't have happened. You know? Mm-hmm. Um, if not for COVID, my whole family wouldn't have gotten together. Because, of course, Mike has his own family, wife and family. Borgi now has his own family. So, uh, I was so glad that, of course, when it was over, because we used to take family vacations, we used to get together. But when it was over, it was kind of hard, right? Because everyone has their own schedules, their own families, their own uh, responsibilities and obligations. So, and even Jamie was here, not to... Uh, be with us and it was so fun diba? Yeah. with all the babies and uh, siyempre, my brothers and my mom talagang w- we made a great time out of one of the toughest times no? yeah any fond memories Jamie? oh my god the bar class with Kara and Carla the bar oh my god the bar class so, kung alam niyo po ano yung bar, it's a mix of what? Yoga and Pilates? It's a mix of everything. And one more, like, it's a mix of three. Pilates, Dance? Pilates, yoga, and ballet. And ballet, tama. Oh, oh. So, itong bar, B-A-R-R-E, is uh, yung specialty ni Kara. No? Mm-hmm. Mang Lapos Manotok, ang uh, sister-in-law ko. Um, she's a bar instructor sa Manila, actually. And... Um, she was not the one teaching. You were doing a YouTube class, diba? YouTube yeah. bar class. Tatlo mm-hmm. sila. Uh, si Jamie, si uh, Kara, and si Carla. Oh, si Carla oh. po ang partner ni Borgi. And then, uh, I think time, around before lunch yata yun, no? Yeah, and at that time, they were both pregnant. Mm. And yeah. I'm <laughs> not, and I'm not pregnant. I'm not pregnant. Just the, the, just the two of them. So... Two of them were pregnant. So Jamie, siempre not pregnant, and then what happened? <laughs> ako naghirapan ako sa bar. Naka nosebleed ako, and then na medyo na hirapan ako naginhawa. Yeah, 
Si Jamie, ano, Hi. si uh, huminto siya, hindi niya kaya, huminto siya sa bar kasi dumudugo po ang ilong niya. Uh-uh. And then, yung mga preggers na kasama niya, si Kara and Carla, kaya nila! So sabi ko, ba't naman ganun? Hindi ka naman preggers, hindi mo kaya. Bakit yung mga preggers, kayang kaya? <laughs> si Jamie naman, yoga instructor na yun, di ba? Dahil din sa 2020 na lockdown. In fairness, diba? like I feel like being with your family really like made me more active. Parang I, I learned a lot from your family. Oo. I improved as a person. <laughs> And my family, we beauty, just feed you. Why beauty queen answer talaga? And then my family, I we just feed you. I improved as a person. Never. I improved as a person. My overall health, physically, mentally, socially. Okay, today, okay, all of okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Lise. And uh, my, my, uh, you had a question. What pasalubong? So, sa mga hindi Ilocano, sa mga Manileño, sa mga Bisaya. Jamie's question was, what pasalubong? Oh, you na lang kasi you're uh, adopted Ilocano. Ilocana, sorry. What uh, pasalubong would you give to someone visiting Ilocos? Um, depende ano yung gusto nila. If they're like a foodie, I would like to give them a uh, bagnet. Hi, Yana. Or like let's say mga putas dito. Kasi your mangoes are actually really good. Your dragon fruits are like really delicious too. Garlic. Coming coming from a Cebuana. Sabi niya, Ilocano mangoes are as good as Cebu mangoes. Aba. Diba? Sabi mo? Totoo ba? Close. Comparable. Anyway. <laughs> you said! Actually, yeah. Yeah, they're really good. They're like the same as Cebuano mangoes. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well, sa akin, like, best pasalubong. Well, syempre, crowd... I'm not yet done. Ay, sorry, sorry. Pasensya lang po. Okay, but if a person is into yung mga outfits ganyan, I would give them a bell cloth that they can use to make outfits. Diba? Like, you also have a national living treasure here, right? Yes, si uh, Magdalena Gamayo, of course. Mm-hmm. Our national living treasure, si Nana... Magdalena sa Pinili, no? Talagang, uh, di ba, binisita pa natin. Jamie loved that experience. Now, we went and saw uh, Magdalena Gamayo sa Pinili. Maganda talaga yung tela, yung Abel. That's why, like, when it was my mom's birthday, when it when my mom's birthday was coming up, I actually bought some Abel from her and we made it into a cardigan. It was so beautiful. So, yun, that's what I would give. Okay, I'm done. Yes, yeah, so. uh, Abel is a great gift, no? Yeah. Na para sa mga bisita. Mm-hmm. Uh, kaya lang, hindi... It's not cheap, no? let's be honest. A bell can be a bit pricey, especially mm. pag malaking tela. That's true. Um, and uh, with a bell, it can be a bit warm, no? Uh, depending kung what kind of a bell. But uh, super gift, of course. Talagang handmade, handicraft, talagang Ilocano and proud. Uh, we love to support the Abel industry. In fact, this year, Sabi ni Ayan, ang tourism officer namin na magka-fashion show tayo this year. A bell fashion show. Mm. Eh, baka si Jamie magra-rampa. Huh? <laughs> Just kidding. Didn't tell you. Talk about it later. Um, but, um, well, sa mga pasalubong, crowd favorite palagi ang uh, cornic. Siyempre, who doesn't love cornic? No? Fried mm. corn. And, um... Longanisa is good. Bagnet, you mentioned. Um, mm-hmm. Dried mango, of course. Si Mango King. Mangkarding Tolentino. Kamusta? At, uh, ano pa ba nasa? Oh, we like our uh, Basi uh, wine from Basi uh, Maria. Diba? We like our mm-hmm. wine from uh, Sigrid and Ralph. And, uh, ano pa ba? Well, siyempre, yung mga banana chips and such. Mga... Sa akin kasi, food medyo safe but, eh. But maganda din yung mga pasulubong, honestly. You even have like this um, group, a community sa Pinili that they make candles. And this actually helps uh, single moms. And they make like really good uh, eco-friendly candles. And I think like that that's something like people should be aware of. And maybe in the future, they would also want to bring that home as a pasulubong. Pure Ilocano daw, pasensya na po. Basit ang Ilocano ko. Naimbag ang malem. Kamusta po mga kakailian, pasensya na po. Um, Jamie, or nang ka na ba mag Ilocano? Just tiyag nina. Just tiyag. 
Okay. Moving on. Anong favorite show natin? Recently obsessed na obsessed kami sa Succession. Succession. Ito po ay isang HBO show uh, loosely based on the Murdoch family. Sila po ang may ari ng Fox News. Kung alam niyo po yung Fox News sa States, uh, talagang addicted kami sa Succession. But prior to that, we love the Modern Family. Uh, medyo, oh, med- yeah. Pero medyo sad kami kasi Modern Family, tinanggal yata yung mga first seasons, no? Mm-hmm. I think mga last few seasons na lang ang meron. Uh, Netflix. I also enjoyed the one, uh, para local naman. Oh, we watched Die Beautiful, di ba? Na, na yeah. sad ka dun. Uh, Die the Beautiful. Mm-hmm. Uh, mga local. And uh, ako, I like the one film of Enrique Hill and Liza na... Uh, love story, ano yun? Alone, together, bayon. Parang students sila, and then they didn't end up together. I, Mm-mm. I thought cute yung film na yun. So, uh, ako I try to watch local news and local films. At uh, kaya si Jamie din medyo nasasana sa tagalog, di ba? I try. Okay. <laughs> music, oh, meditation music, Jamie. Ah. Uh- Actually, I just go on Spotify lang and then I put meditation music and then the first album that pops up, yun yung kamikin ko. And it's, that's, that's it. Or no music at all. Because baganda din if you're surrounded by nature and you just listen to what the earth gives you. Parang ganyan. So you operate at your highest frequency. Anong tawag dun? Uh, sound bath. Jamie, what is a sound bath? Sound bath is like basically like having like these singing bowls. Hi, Francesca. And then they just basically like make music out of like these singing bowls. But um, when you, let's say, go around nature and you want to like listen to the earth and basically have slow movements, that's called forest bathing. So I highly recommend it. In fact, sa Pagod Pod, around Panchan Resort. Meron silang area dyan na pwede ka mag-hike uh, konti and it's really ideal for forest bathing. Mm-hmm. Oh, Jamie, may, oh. May, may mga request dito na mag-bisaya ka daw. Sample, sample. Ano saan man akong pagkasulti sa bisaya? Uy, wait lang. Mag-huna-huna sa ako. I-greet mo naman sila. Mga, mga bisaya. Uy, nag-story yan mga... ako bisaya. Karun, uy. Ay. Sabot ka mo sa akong ingon. Ba't parang galit ka? Dili ang ana on jud tama ni Soria oi basta Bisaya. Oh, de ba? Can we say can can we say that uh what you always call me? Kasi ako no. dalawang dalawang word lang yung alam ko sa Bisaya kasi yun yung yun yung ano uh tinatawag ako ni Jamie eh. Kahit yung isa hindi masabi. <laughs> hindi bad word daw eh. Dili man na bad word but ayaw na lang. Ala, yung top mo daw, too revealing. Hindi ah, naman. Hindi naman. Actually, yun yung isa sa favorite traits ko kay Jamie is very, hindi uh, naman very conservative, but she's medyo conservative, no? Uh, considering. And, oh, we forgot that hindi mo sinulat pa favorite traits. Oh, unsa ang So ako, mauna ako. One of my favorite traits of Jamie, do I have to look at you ba para cheesy? Go. Say it no, no, without no. blinking. No. <laughs> without blinking. Happy birthday, Irish. Kung talaga ng birthday mo. Happy uh, birthday. My favorite trait of Jamie is that she doesn't um, think too highly of herself. Talaga ng modest po siya. Um, you know, even when people like all of the comments here say ang ang ganda mo, de ba? She just says I'm okay because parang you know that's she's comfortable with herself and. Uh, you know, but she doesn't think the world of herself. And to me, uh, you know, the older I get, I'm uh, 33 now, and uh, I find uh, modesty to be um, maybe the most attractive uh, trait uh, in people. You know? um, people who don't uh, think too highly of themselves, and people who don't also take themselves too seriously, diba? Right? Parang however. Uh, far we may get or however successful we may be parang uh, we have to always kind of try to be modest try to be uh, grounded diba? and uh, approachable and kind to each other diba? mm. favorite trait uh, mag reciprocate ka naman Jamie. I'm sorry my number one trait that I like about you 
It's funny ka. That's it. <laughs> Ang haba lang sa akin. Bakit? Yung sayo, funny ka. Really? You're so funny. Like, one thing I love about you is that you're actually very supportive. Not just with me, but with your whole family and the people that you love. And um, even when times get tough, okay, now I'm getting cheesy naman. But when times get tough, you know how to lighten people's moods. And you you know how to make people have a good time. And nowadays, people have a tendency, parang medyo seryoso sila, ganyan, di ba? And yun, yun yung gusto ko kay Matt, na parang okay lang naman kung man-serious tayo. But parang he knows how to to relax also and not take himself too seriously. And he lives in a balanced life and that's really important. And I admire that. I try to learn from him. Aww. So yun. Thank you. Cheesy enough? I appreciate it. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh -oh. We want to greet everyone. Uh -oh. Happy Chinese New Year! Happy Chinese New Year! Malapit na po. Of course, my consulate po kami dito. Dami namin mga Chinese friends. I saw the Chinese. I met the Chinese ambassador the other day. Uh, talagang long time uh, friends, no? Uh, my family, um, the Marcos family, has always been uh, friends with uh, the People's Republic of China. And Jamie knows how to speak a bit of Chinese. I greet mo naman sila. Kung hi, Fat Chai. Yeah, but why do you know how to speak Chinese again? Because I went to a Chinese school when I was in high school. And then the lessons were not too long ago, right? Just mm -mm. a few years ago. Before the lockdown. That's why I wasn't able to really hone my Chinese. Okay. Mm -mm. Ito na po. Last question. Ultimate question daw. Kailan ang kasal? We say no. Um, well, actually, sa akin, one of my other favorite char characteristics of Jamie is that... Um, Career oriented, she, no? Um, you know, when I met her, she was so busy uh, with multiple jobs, the banaging anchor pa siya with uh, TV5 and Signal. So uh, I really appreciated how Jamie uh, took her life and her career seriously. Because talagang breadwinner po si Jamie, no? She, um, in a way, no, talagang uh, you supported your family, and it was. Uh, really admirable. I saw uh, her work ethic and her love for her family. So um, I always treasured that trait of Jamie. Na talagang sineseryoso niya. Uh, she always wanted to improve herself and work hard. And uh, uh, well, let's see. No, uh, I'm getting old. Nga. I'm getting 33. Na Jamie is still very young. I won't say how old, but she's uh, very young. And uh, we're in no rush, na one. But uh, of course. Um, I take her seriously and I value uh, how she supports me and the relationship we have. Mm -hmm. Is that, uh, I think, PC and right? Politically correct. Okay Pasa? lang naman. Pumasado yeah. ba ako? Yeah. Ayun. Okay. Well, we just want to greet all of you again. Happy Friday. I think almost 5.05 .05 na tayo. 5.10? Yeah, yeah. 5.10. So we made it 40 minutes with all of you guys. Schedule natin was uh, 30 minutes, but it was so fun. Uh, thanks to all of you. We have 2.3 thousand live viewers. Uh, really appreciate uh, all of you uh, watching us. Uh, hope you can uh, tune in again sometime. I'm not sure if I'll have Jamie on. Maybe next time, saman ko si Sandro. Kasi alam ko dami mga Sandro natics dito. Kung okay ba kayo sa my mom's been here. Oh, she has? Yeah, mom's oh, been here. okay. Sorry, hindi ko alam. So, uh, happy, happy Friday to you all. I'm uh, very excited to get back to work tomorrow. I can leave, we can leave the house tomorrow. Yes. Our isolation is done. And uh, wishing you all a very happy, happy weekend. Happy, happy Friday. Uh, I hope you all get some rest, uh, get some time for yourselves, and uh, enjoy yourselves. And happy Chinese New Year. Bye. <laughs> Ingat po. Maraming salamat. Just Agnina. Trying to click finish now. Bye bye.
So ayun, tapos na. Maraming salamat sa mga nanood. Maraming maraming salamat sa mga palaging sumusubaybay kay Apong Glenn. Sa mga hindi pa nakasubscribe, magsubscribe kayo. And click that notification bell para ma-update tayo kay Apong Glenn palagi. So that's it. Nakita nyo naman kung gaano ka kagaling and katalino and kakiring si Governor Matthew and nak- pinakilala niya sa inyo si Ma'am Jamie. Actually, sa mga susunod na mga videos ko, papakita ko pa yung mga iba pang videos nila. And this time, uh, papaalam na ako. And sana, nag-enjoy kayo sa video na yan. And once again, this is again your Konyo Boy, Apunggan Rapid English, Ilocano, Aglala, Okio. Peace out. Bye-bye. Woo.